Welcome to the TearSet tutorial video series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to classify remotely sensed imagery using the segmentation procedure in TearSet. The segmentation procedure is a supervised classification method based on assigning classes to spectrally homogeneous segments of your imagery. The segmentation procedure consists of several steps. First, you must import your remotely sensed bands run the segmentation module to break the imagery down into spectrally homogeneous segments, use the resulting segments to create training sites using the segtrain module, and finally classify your imagery. I'll be classifying Landsat imagery of an area near the Amazon River in Brazil for this tutorial. I'll start by importing my Landsat bands using the Landsat import module. This module is particularly useful because it can both import my bands and convert the raw values to ground reflectance values in one step. Simply select the Landsat metadata file as your input, choose to convert the multispectral bands to reflectances, and choose what conversion procedure to use. I'll use the dark object subtraction method. You can also convert your thermal bands at the same time. I'll convert the thermal bands to at satellite brightness temperature. This is a false color composite of my Landsat scene. Zooming in, you can see the four classes I'll be using for my classification. Bare soil, agriculture currently in production, water, and forest. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'll analyze a subset of the Landsat scene without any clouds and pan sharpen the bands to increase the spatial resolution from 30 meters to 15 meters. This is what the windowed and pan sharpened false color composite looks like. Again, the four classes that I want to distinguish are bare soil, agriculture in production, water, and forest. The first step in the classification procedure is segmentation. I'll run the segmentation module to break my Landsat bands down into spectrally homogeneous segments. I'll input a raster group of my multispectral windowed and pan sharpened Landsat bands and leave most of the parameters at their default values. The one parameter that you should alter is the similarity tolerance. This parameter will determine how much heterogeneity will be tolerated in a segment. Smaller values will produce smaller, more homogeneous segments and larger values will produce larger, less homogeneous segments. The choice of an appropriate similarity tolerance will depend on your study area and how many classes you are trying to distinguish. You can create multiple different segmented outputs at once by typing several similarity tolerance values into this box, separated by commas. The segmentation output will be one or more vector and raster polygon files delineating the spectrally homogeneous segments within your image. I've tried a variety of different similarity tolerances. A tolerance of 10 yields very small and homogeneous segments, while a tolerance of 200 produces larger, less homogeneous segments. I want to be able to distinguish narrow rivers and roads, so a tolerance of 50 looks like a good choice for my study area. Next. I need to create a training file that defines the spectral signature for each land cover class that I want to have in my classified image. With other classification methods, you would have to manually digitize training polygons for each land cover class you want to map. The segmentation procedure has already delineated spectrally homogeneous training polygons, and I simply need to assign these polygons to the classes I want to map. I can do this using the segtrain module. I'll create a new training file, select my segmentation vector file created using a similarity tolerance of 50, and use my false color composite as the composite background image. You could use any color composite image as the background, as long as you can distinguish between the land cover classes you want to identify. I'll give my output training file a name and click the display button. The color composite you chose will be displayed with the segmentation vector file overlaid. I'll need to zoom in a bit in order to choose my training sites. To select training sites, click the Pick New Sample button and double-click on a segment to select it. Give it a class ID 
and a class name. You can also choose a color to represent it as well. When you choose another segment of the same class, you only need to select the class ID and the other fields will be filled automatically. You should select segments for each class across the image in order to achieve a representative sample of that class. Once you think you've chosen enough segments for each class, you can review your choices by clicking the segment ID to return to each segment. You can also turn off the background image in the composer to check the distribution of your samples. Sampled segments will be filled in with the color you chose to represent each class. Click Create to make your signature training file. Once the signature training file is created, you're ready to classify your image. You can use many different classification modules for this step, but I'll demonstrate using the Maximum Likelihood Classification Module, MaxLike. Insert your signature group file, provide an output name, and click OK. This is the classified output. You can see that although the segments were used to create the signature training file, the actual classification was done on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis, and there is some noise in the classified output. You can reduce the noisiness of the classified image by going back to the training stage and selecting more training segments. However, if you want a more map-like output, you can use the Segmentation Classification module, SegClass. This module takes a segmentation raster image and a classified image and reassigns pixel values based on the majority class within each segment. This is a segmentation classification output using the segmentation image created with a similarity tolerance of 50. If you want a more generalized output, use a larger similarity tolerance segment file. This segmentation classification image was created using a segmentation file created with a similarity tolerance of 150. You can use any segmentation level you want, but keep in mind that you are subjectively changing the data to make it more map-like. For more information on the supervised segmentation classification procedure, check out the Tearset tutorial, which can be accessed by going to Help and selecting Tearset Tutorial. Tutorial Exercise 3-10 will offer more information about the segmentation procedure.